Hey y'all, welcome to Fins and Fossils Fishing. My name is Erin and I'm coming to you from beautiful Topsail Island, North Carolina. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps out a lot. If you got a question or comment, feel free to drop it below and uh, let's go get it. It wasn't too good, it was slack tide. It's still slack tide. Um, so I took that opportunity to cruise south on the ICW towards where I want to be fishing today. Because um, it's better to paddle and pedal in a slack tide than it is um, going against the tide. At least it's easier. Um, so I got down to this creek, and there's not much going on right now. Um, it's really calm. So I'm going to head to this flat that I like. Um, and just get it as far back as I can right now. Uh, it's low tide, so the water's gonna start rising, and those reds are gonna follow the tide in. So, hopefully this morning I can find something early. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go find my spot, get anchored up, get some lines in, and I'll check back with you soon. I'm excited. Oh, my sunglasses broke. I think I got them caught in the casting. So hopefully I keep this cloud cover. If I don't, I'm gonna have to figure something out. So uh, I got back to this kind of channel creek that feeds these flats and I got my lines in and I've been here about 10 minutes. I just hooked up to something. It's kind of swimming like a stingray. So that stinks. Let's see. That's so awesome. Um, I was watching some videos about how to hook live bait. They suggested, you know, using the least amount of um, tackle as you can. So I went lighter on my hooks. These are a uh, 3-0 owner uh, Mutu light Mutu circle light oh, I'm gonna let him wear out oh man man I keep finding these big fish y'all oh this is a little strong can you tell it's pulling my kayak all over the place alright I'm gonna have to get him in the boat he comes unhooked trying to wear them out, but oh man, he might be too big. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Come here. Shoot. I don't have to lose. How am I going to do this? I'm going to have to pull it in by the... Shoot. No, not on the anchor. Not on the anchor. Fish, y'all. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm gonna do about my anchor here. I'll figure it out. The fish is in the net. Oh my goodness. Huge fish, y'all. Huge fish. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a buff slot. I'm gonna pull him back in the net here. Twenty-eight inches. Not my personal best. My personal best is twenty-nine, but that's a nice fish. All right, let's get him unhooked. He's right in the lip. 
There it goes. Alright, I'm gonna quick pick with this guy. Get him back swimming. Wow, cool. So you can't keep anything that big here in North Carolina. Um, you can only keep up to 27 inches. So he's 20, not 28. One thing you want to do when you're measuring your fish is make sure you pinch the tail. So when you pinch that tail, you get like an extra inch on that thing. Okay. Let's get a quick dip in the sky and get him back in the water. Massive fish. Holy moly. <laughs> Whoa, he's so heavy. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, let him swim. So I'm going to give this guy, that was quite a fight. So I'm going to try to acclimate him back to the water. I'm going to try to hold on to him here and let him kind of. Oh, he went right off. Awesome fish. Woo. Not one to keep, but one to be proud of. All right, let's see if I get anything else right here. Some big bowls swimming through. You never know. I got something pulling on me, y'all. So I moved it into where that creek where I caught that big fish feeds a flat. Oh, oh, I think it's a red. I don't know. I really don't know. Unless it took my bait and it stuck on something. I think my reel is messed up, honestly. Oh. Ah, no, it just came off. Did it? No, it's just swimming. It's just swimming. I think it's a drum. It's swimming a lot. It's swimming more than a stingray would. Oh, yeah. Nice size drum. Not my other line. Not my other line. Other line. Good size drum. I need to get some new gear, y'all. Oh, this reel. I really put it through. That is a little drum. This is a little drum. All that fight? My goodness. Come here, little guy. Ah. You put up a lot of fight. Come here. Come here. Little guy. Drum number two in the boat. That's good. Hooked him right in his lip. I'm liking these new hooks I got. I haven't got hooked anything with them yet. Pretty fish, little guy. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. He's cute. He's little. Let's see. Not. He's like 18, barely legal. That's funny that 18 is barely legal. The red drum, but all right. Pretty tail. Here, let him swim. See what else is in here. Go on, buddy. Y'all, I got something big on here. I think it's big. It's fighting. Took a lot of line here at first. down here this morning. These little guys. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to get your hook out. Alright, there it goes. Let's see, he's small. Ow. 19 inches. Pretty little fish. Drum number three. We'll let him go. Y'all, this thing fooled me, but I do have something on. It's little. I don't know what it is. It's not little. Oh, 
Oh, maybe not. I'm a good size drum. Let's see if I can bring it back around. This way. No. Okay. Okay. When? tangled up in my line. Let's see. How big are you? Another small guy. Here we go. Okay, here it goes. Oh, it's getting sunny and I got no glasses. Little. Just legal. 18 and a half. Another nice fish. We're gonna let him swim. Oh, the sun. I'm gonna have to figure something out with these glasses. I'm gonna be squinting all day. Y'all, I got a fish on deep in the grasses, and I might have to go and kayak for it because it is way down there. Oh, it's making a big splash. Come this way. See if I can get it to come. I think it might be pretty big. Seems like there's some big drum in here. Today there's some big splashes. Come here. Nope. Ooh. Might just be another small one with a lot of fight. Don't go that way. Nice size drum. I think it's smaller still. Let's see. Okay. That's not a wardrobe malfunction there. Uh oh, did he swallow it? Hopefully not. Hooked him right at the top of the gut. Oh, it's gonna do a whole lot of trauma. I'm just gonna cut it out. He, he swallowed it. It's not good for him. Uh, didn't swallow it all the way, but it it got stuck right in the top of his uh, esophagus. Let's see. 19 inches. You gonna be okay, buddy? I don't think he's gonna make it with that hook in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest him. Um, it's like hooked through his, the top of his GI tract and his tongue. Um, and so he wouldn't be able to eat food. And it would take a while for that to rot out. So, let me go ahead and string him. See how he does. I'll string him. That's a good idea. Cause that way I'll be able to see, is he going to keep swimming or is he, is he going to die just from having a hook in there? So let's do that. Here's my stringer. And what I do is you just put it in the fish's mouth and try to get it to the, oops, try to get it to the side through the gill. And it comes right out. Oh, I know, he spit it out. There it goes. And we'll see how he does. I'm not going to make a decision just yet, put him on ice or anything. Let's see how he does. Oh, uh, I put him on this side. So he's not in the way of my bottle. Alright, he don't like it, but... Let's see how he does. You want to make sure you orient the fish to be the way that they swim in the water. Because if you just let them on their side or something and you put them in, they might not swim. Hey, buddy. There you go. 
You're all right. We're swimming. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna stay right here in this spot. Hey y'all, so I'm out on the ICW and uh, I saw a big school of Menhaden. I think it was Menhaden jumping. So I figured something might be biting them and I have something hooked now and it might be a trout. It's not really moving like a red. Oh, whoa. What is this? Around my other line. Oh, it's a damn lizard fish. Dang. He really got it too. This is a lizard fish. This is not something you want to catch. Um, yeah, this is like trash fish. They're real slimy, but um, apparently they work well for cut bait for um, big drum. So I'm gonna keep them for that. Oh, they're so gross. And they've got sharp teeth too. It's a pretty big lizard fish. Oh, God. He is scary. I'm gonna have to cut his head off soon. Y'all, I got something nice here on the side of the ICW, I think. I took a mullet right on the grass line. Let's see what we got here. Looks like a little drum. Let's see. Not too big. Okay, little fish. Right here on the side of the grasses. And it's high tide. You can find redfish at high tide. Alright. Let's see. Nice size fish, probably like 20. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like it. Ooh, it's 19. Right on the side of the ICW in the grasses. And he's going back in to swim. All right, well, I'm hoping something big takes that lizard fish head. I've got that one there. So we'll see what happens. I'm just throwing a couple more baits in before I call it a day. Another drum. I don't know, is that six? Maybe six. Hey y'all, so I was just about to pack it in. I think I got something on here, but it's probably a stingray the way it's swimming. Let's find out. I don't know what is going on here. Yep, a little stingray. Y'all, I think that is my cue that it is time to pack it up and go home. Uh, I had a great day. The drum was awesome. Big, big drum. And then some puppies. Coming home with, I think it was 19 inch that I gut hooked. He was not doing well on the stringer. So he's in the bag. Um, he would have died if I just let him go. So um, he's coming home. I hope you guys had fun with me today. Um, I'm going to go out and do this again sometime soon. If you like this, please like and subscribe and share it. Share it um, with your friends on Facebook. You can click the little share button. It's got an arrow down in a little bar at the bottom of the, of the screen. And uh, that really helps out. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you soon. I got to get this guy off.